Hey everyone, today we'll be drawing the right femoral triangle, seen from an anterior view. I really do hope you find this to be humorous. And be rest assured, it's going to be okay. Now grab a paper, a pencil, and some colored pencils. Let's start by labeling our lateral side and our medial side. Now let's draw a triangular structure. This will represent the borders of the femoral triangle. Now the contents. On the midpoint of the upper border, we'll draw down an artery. Lateral to it, we have a nerve. And medial to this, we have a vein along with this tributary. Medial to the vein will be an empty space. And finally, most medial, we will draw in our lymph nodes and vessels. Great job, the drawing is pretty much complete. Let's label. We will use the mnemonic, SAIL. SAIL represents the borders of the femoral triangle. S, A, I, L. S stands for sartorius muscle, which represents the lateral border. A is for abductor longus muscle on the medial border. And I, L represents the upper border, I, L for inguinal ligament. Moving on to labeling the contents. We'll use the mnemonic, navel. Arrange from lateral to medial, N, A, V, E, L. First one is the nerve, femoral nerve, and its branches. Medial to it, we have A, which is the femoral artery. Medial to this, we have the femoral vein, and its tributary, the great saphenous vein. Next is E, the empty space. Nothing is physically shown here. L represents lymph vessels and deep inguinal lymph nodes. Now let's go over some important things to know. The roof of the femoral triangle is made up of the skin and the fascia. The floor of the femoral triangle from lateral to medial is the iliopsoas muscle, middle part is the pectineus muscle, and the most medial part is the adductor longus muscle. Also remember this. The structures of the femoral triangle are covered by a femoral sheath. It covers the femoral artery, the femoral vein, empty space, and lymph nodes. The femoral nerve is not inside the sheath. It covers from here to here. Now the femoral sheath is divided into three parts, the lateral compartment, middle compartment, and medial compartment. The most medial compartment is important. It forms a canal called the femoral canal. The canal forms an opening ring, which we'll draw here and label it the femoral ring. Just remember the femoral sheath covers contents A to L, and the nerve is not included in the femoral sheath. And the most medial compartment of the femoral sheath, called the femoral canal, covers the E and L parts, which contains the empty space, lymph nodes, and the deep inguinal lymph nodes. You've done it. You have drawn the structure, the contents, and the important divisions and landmarks. Are you learning something from our videos? Well then click the subscribe button to your right. We are releasing high yield lessons and ways for you to get ahead in class. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to take interactive quizzes and view your favorite diagrams. Nothing can stop you, but only if you believe in yourself. You got this.